Well, hey there, people. It's Brian Bram uh, from Eagles Wings Community Church, and uh, I'm doing another blog uh, in my series on apologetics. Uh, so be sure to read that. It's it's going to blow your mind uh, and uh, uh, make you think. So um, the video always uh, is intending to introduce the topic, give some. Uh, some questions that are raised, uh, maybe a few answers, but not all of them, because I want you to read the blog. So, um, so check that out. So this blog series was for a paper that I had to do for apologetics. Uh, the topic uh, that I chose uh, was biblical contradictions, and uh, this uh, section uh, touches on a little bit on science and theology, uh, which is a little ironic because that's the class I actually just finished: science, theology, and science. So. Uh, just touches on it, ironically, and um, I'm actually going to uh, hopefully be doing another series on uh, science and theology, so it's it's kind of a good segue. Uh, I did find that I had to uh, do a little bit of editing from my original paper after having taken that class, uh, and so um, uh, this is uh, this is what I what I ended up with uh, uh, between the two classes uh, for apologetics and science and theology. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, I've been talking about in this uh, particular blog series is the idea of genres, and uh, really have we have kind of two two different genres of, of writing. We have scientific writing, and we have uh, theological writing, and uh, sometimes they they seem to contradict one another because they're in two totally different genres. So, for example, uh, in Isaiah 40 and 22, when it talks about uh, the the circle of the earth. Um, it doesn't seem to me that the Bible is is really trying to be scientific. It doesn't seem to me that when people uh, talk about the uh, circular earth or the earth is round and all that kind of thing, that they're trying to be scientifically uh, accurate. Uh, the truth is it's probably somewhat spherical and has some bumps and all that sort of thing. Um, so one thing is for sure, though, we're going to have to start to uh, take science a little bit more seriously if uh, we want uh, people to take uh, scripture more seriously. So that'll be the topic uh, uh, even more so in the next uh, blog series. But for right now, hey, check out this blog uh, for some more information. Blessings to you.